WKTT. Because the world needs a powerful America to tell it what to do. The Martin Serious Show. This show is trash. I don't want my children hearing your filth. Shut up, you shrew. Get naked for me and drown your children in the bathtub right now on the phone. The most valuable man in broadcasting. The genius who takes no prisoners is back for another episode of the shock jock show that has changed everything, including moral standards and what is considered funny. It's America's favorite everyman, multi-millionaire Martin Sirius. I'm being ripped off by all my peers, the hacks in this industry. Also starring Smithy, the sidekick. I'm smoking a cigar with my butt! Ah! And Mark, the anal and entirely realistic station manager. This show is out of control. We'll get fined again. And Lisa, who isn't just a token example of diversity, so we avoid a lawsuit. You're so funny, Martin, burning a rainbow flag. <laughs> I should be offended, <laughs> but you're brilliant. I hate myself all the way to the bank. This is the multi-award winning, game-changing, life-altering, original Martin Serious Show. That's right, that's right. Martin Serious Show, back with another incredible round of telling everybody the way things are. Yes, the way things are. That's so true. Lisa God is in the details. In the details! He also appears to be in your breasts. Your breasts. Lisa, today, they seem kind of perky. Fresh. Someone have some work done? Lisa, huh? A little bit of uplift with your bonus, did we? Tell Uncle Martin. Tell Uncle Martin. Let me see those chocolate grenades. Ooh, oh, delicious. <laughs> Martin, you're ridiculous. You're so funny. I can't believe people call you a condescending homophobic racist. Thanks, Lisa. I know. Uh, how could I be racist or homophobic when I employ a black transvestite? That's why they pay me the big bucks. Hasn't changed me. Hasn't changed me. Mm -mm. Money, I mean. Mm -hmm. Hasn't changed me one bit. Yeah, you always were a jackass, if I may say so, Mr. S. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, stunt boy Smithy. Thank you. Oh, Lord. What are you doing, Smithy? It's my first son of the day. I'm going to duct tape M80s to my throat. Yeah, shove a lit one up your ass. I win a broadcasting award. Anything for you, Mr. S. What if he gets hurt? I'm a pioneering broadcaster, a pioneer. I break ground, others follow, others copy. Listen, I don't care who gets hurt in the name of radio. I take no prisoners in my search for the truth. Light those fireworks around your neck, Smithy. <laughs> wow. That must have really stung. Can I say this? Can I say this, Lisa? I'm a legend. Well. A legend. Well. Like Davy Crockett. Mm -hmm. Except that I don't get to murder natives. I've gone deaf, Mr. S! Stunt boys, Mithy, everybody, with an M80 up his rear end. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's incredible! Oh, incredible! Radio, theater of the mind, and widescreen plasma TV of the asshole. <laughs> oh, Martin, you're hilarious! Naughty, but a straight talker. No wonder all the porn stars we have on the show can't resist you. Is that so? I've got a sound effects machine. Isn't that funny? Well, speaking of porn stars, pull that curtain back. You guys are not going to believe what's going on behind there. Wow, Mr. S, they're beautiful. Wow, indeed, indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, it's two hot young porn stars making out. Hot lesbian action. Only on the Martin Serious Show. Just like we have every day. Well, that's terrible and exploitive. But it's also groundbreaking entertainment for which we'll probably win an award. You're really a genius. Mr. S, do you want me to kill one of the porn stars like last time? That was a ratings bonanza. Bonanza, wow. Breasts, look at those breasts. Yeah. Veiny and covered in stretch marks. It's like watermelons about to explode. Uh, just a reminder, next week, if management doesn't shut it down, we'll have our annual circle jerking contest where you can win a, a box set of every show I've ever done. Think about that. Me! Every show, all the time. My whole career. And, and don't forget to tell them about the top stickers. That's right, Lisa. This is extreme radio. Extreme! So I spend 99% of the time on air talking about the show rather than actually putting one on. Smithy, tell them how they can get their tot stickers. Yes, Mr. S. Tot stickers are for take out your twat Tuesdays and Thursdays. When you put the tot sticker on your car and women 
see the tot sticker while they're driving, they'll mush those nasty meat curtains against the window. Oh my goodness, unbelievable. <laughs> That's outrageous, but also liberated and true. Going to the phones, taking calls, speaking live. Line three, Brianna, you're on the Martin Serious Show. Hi, Martin. I'm totally hot and wet for you. If I wasn't stuck here doing this dumb show, all the things I'd do to you. You touching yourself right now? Are you? Oh, I sure am. Yeah, baby. Hang on, yeah. Brianna. Smithy! Yes, Mr. S? While this young lovely is pleasuring herself, I want you to burn your pubic hair off with a blowtorch. With a blowtorch! No problem, Mr. S! Yeah, Brianna, you're a dirty girl, aren't you? Yes! Do you want to do things for me? Yes, Martin. I want to be so naughty for you. Well, then take your clothes off right now. Yeah, that's my line, you dumb twit. It's unscripted, innovative, groundbreaking radio. Well, then take your clothes off right now. Okay, Martin. Now I want you to give yourself a hysterectomy. Um... <laughs> oh! <laughs> what? Station, dump me out? Dump me? Hit the delay button? Everyone missed the best part! I am tired of this company censoring me. I am a radio genius. Now, how many times do I have to say it until you just blindly agree? I am the real deal. The real deal. Like your hair, Martin. Is it new plugs? <laughs> oh, if you weren't a black transvestite, I'd, I'd fire you. My hair is real. They just move some of it around with an egg beater. Martin, hi, you're unbelievable. Shocking. If what you said wasn't true, I'd sue you for harassment. I should sue you. I see you looking at me. You're only human. Of course you want me. I'm an attractive, hard-working everyman, but I'm also a humble genius. You want me, don't you, Lisa? Don't you? I want you, Mr. S. Aren't you supposed to be grooming your groin with a blowtorch? Yes, sir, Mr. S. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, ho, ho. Oh. smells like bacon. It smells like the set of one of my films in here. Ooh, I want those hot lesbians. Smithy, give them both some PCP. I want to get fined again so my show appears to be edgy. Uh, oh, look at uh, them. Love lesbians. Uh, okay. Never gets boring having lesbians on the show. <laughs> Why do they call me sexist and homophobic when I love lesbians? <laughs> That's so true, Martin. Wow, they're smashing each other's faces, Mr. S. Uh, Tell me, Stacy. It is Stacy, isn't it? Yes, Martin. How did you get into porn? Did your daddy touch you? Um, I just really enjoy it. I've got a new calendar coming out. Here, take a look. Oh, wow, yeah! I didn't know the yoga could be so sexy. Yeah. I'm ready to give you a downward dog. <laughs> downward dog! Or gardening. Look at that leaf blower up her sphincter. I'd love to do that for the show, Mr. S. Wow! <laughs> On the October page, here she is tending to the elderly in a hospice by servicing the dying men. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. It's Mark Brooks, our dull general manager. Oh! Hi, Martin. Sorry to interrupt the show. Yeah, the, the, the contest next week, it got canceled. Are you kidding me? Well, we did it last year, no problem. How am I supposed to do a shock jock show when you suits keep bringing me down? Yeah, really. Martin makes this station a lot of money. I know, but you guys are out of control. Yeah, and we were raising money for leprosy. That's right. Listen, we're going to do it anyway. We already have some contestants entered. Next week is the official third trimester triathlon. If you're pregnant in your third trimester and you can finish a triathlon without entering premature labor, you win. Tell them more, Smithy. Yeah, as part of the triathlon, the pregnant women have to ride tricycles in circles and slam shots. They run 22 miles, and then after that, there's the breakdancing competition. <laughs> I'll never forget seeing a pregnant woman doing the worm. Little guy shot right out like a stewed tomato. All right, let's get back to the PCP lesbians. Stacy, you seem like an intelligent girl. Thanks, Martin. Do you know what hypocrite means? Of course. What? Um, I just really want to help the kids. That's why I do this work. It's for the kids. Yeah, what's your friend called? This is Raven. Wow, you are hot. <laughs> hot! Lisa, when we're done interviewing these brainless bimbos while our listeners masturbate behind the wheel, we need to attack some of these other radio shows that aren't as edgy as us and harass people till they commit suicide. Suicide! 
sounds like a brilliant and original plan. Mr. S, I want to see how much mercury I can pour into my testicles until I lose consciousness. I'm doing it for you, Mr. S, and because I have self-esteem issues. You're on a nationally syndicated radio show with me, and you got self-esteem issues? That's ridiculous. Lisa, isn't that ridiculous? It really is, Smithy. You're a good guy. But the porn stars never want to date me. Yes, the porn stars. Why don't you two start messing around with each other again? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, oh. Is that legal? I don't know about legal, but it is incredible. I should win another award. I got a toilet full of them. I know. It's the only room you'll let me see in your apartment. Yeah, it's your spiritual home. Lisa, what have we got coming up on the show this week? After the lesbians, we've got an incredible man who is so desperate to be on your show, he's going to wet himself and stick his penis in a wasp nest. Then we've got a feminist who you can shout at and offend, and some disabled people you can patronize and gold with money. Fantastic. God, I am one of a kind. One of a kind. I say things everybody thinks, but nobody dares to admit even to themselves. Ah, <laughs> It's a groundbreaker, this show. Martin Sirius, the human wrecking machine. Where's that feminist? I'll shit on her. First, we've got a man who pisses himself. This guy sucks. I do the stunts around here. If anyone's going to main themselves on national radio for minimum wage, it's me. So here he is. His name is Richie, and he comes from Hove Beach. Um, hi, hi, Martin. I'm a huge fan. I used to listen to you back when you were on LCFR. Yeah, until I got thrown off the air for having midget lesbians burn down a church. Ah, people have no sense of humor. Mm -mm. So what are you going to do for us? Um, I'm going to wet myself and then, and then stick my Johnson in this wasp nest. Oh, oh, gee, he just pissed himself. Ew. Oh, that's gross. Oh, oh, Stacy, stop giving that girl cunnilingus and watch Richie. <laughs> he pissed himself. I'll uh, piss on Raven if you like. Oh, this is incredible radio. Extreme. It's a proper pissing match. Yeah, leave the jokes to me, Smithy. Go fill your belly button with molten lead. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> to be the one that breaks up the party, but that's my job. We've got a feminist on now. She wrote a book about sex and the media. I love it. I invented it. Sex and the media. The media. Here she is, Professor Dorothy Williams. Oh, just like I guess, you're really ugly. Excuse me? I have a PhD. Yeah, what you got are double Ds. Ha, are those real? The thing is, feminists are always ugly. And you've just proved my point. Guys, listen to me. Any chick who talks about women's rights has more stubble than me. You're not being fair at all. You're an asshole. Yeah, it's not fair, but it's true. So true. I don't make the rules, I just speak the truth. Well. And that's why I'm paid the big bucks. Mm -hmm. My God. Listeners. Oh, be grateful this is radio so you don't have to look at this moose. <laughs> Think ugly, then multiply it by two. Oh, what do you got? Ugly squared. The cute root of ugly. Sign and cosine of ugly, Mr. S. That's right. Give that man a trigonometry award. How about a weekend sleeping with underage prostitutes in Manila? Oh, wait. That's what you did last Christmas, isn't it, Smithy? Shut up, Martin. Lisa, I'm bored. Where's that stuttering midget meth head? Here she is. Midgets on meth. On the Martin Serious Show. Hello, my Martin. Hi, Smithy. Smoke some meth, you disaster. I'm just, just so high. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is real life. We got two lesbians shitting on each other, a man who pissed himself, a token black transvestite woman to keep the regulators and activist groups off my back. That's me. An out of control stunt boy and a pissed off academic horse. And now a midget smoking meth. Martin, <laughs> you're a genius. This is incredible entertainment, but it's about all we've got time for. We'll see you on the next Martin Sirius show. Stacy, why don't you come and sit on my lap and tell me about your daddy issues? Oh, yeah. <laughs>
This has been the Martin Serious Show, the show that's shocking. Shocking that anyone considers it remotely entertaining. Martin Serious Show is brought to you in association with Pisswasser. Because after pissing on midgets, a real man needs a cheap German beer. Redwood Cigarettes, the number one cigarette to snub out on your genitals. Fleece of credit cards, accepted in strip clubs worldwide. And the official body spray and deodorant of the Martin Serious Show, the horn. The horn is not a date rape drug. It just seems like one. Shocking! WKTT, the most patriotic news source in America. W.